about that. <laughs> These are about other days, when some of the dishes might be a little too interesting. This is the feast song by Sir Kenneth Macquarie of Anstiara. Uh, he served for a number of years at Drachenwald, and I'm told that all the incidents that this song counts actually happened, but not all at the same time. I'm never late for dining in the feast hall. When dinner's called, I hasten to my seat. It's not that I'm assuming that the meal will be a treat, but the first things on the table, baby, all I have to eat. The bread and cheese are laid out on the table with butter, honey, mixed with herbs are straight. I tuck into them greedily and pile them on my plate. That way there'll be no room, and they'll believe me when I state I'm sure that extra food's not on my diet. I see that I cannot identify it. So take back all the slimy stuff and anything with peas and bring me bread and butter and cheese. There must have been a special on cilantro, or why else would it be in every dish? We've cooked it up for armies, you can take all that you wish. But how much can you eat of boiled snouts and pickled fish? I didn't know that they could do that to a turnip! <laughs> to eat it would be really such a crime. There's something green that's floating in a milky pool of slime. My lord, please pass the basket with the bread here one more time. I'm sure that extra moves not on my diet. I see that I cannot identify it. The rancid meat's more period, it helps keep down the fleas. So bring me bread and butter and cheese. The cook went over budget on the peacock. That's why we're getting gruel in every course. They say that candy herring soaked in beans authentic Norse. This roasted meat is not out bad, but where's the prince's horse? I don't know how they got the shade of purple. <laughs> I can't begin to guess what's in the pies. This fish head stew's okay, but did they need to leave the eyes? And will our waivers cover us when everybody dies? I'm sure the next move's not on my diet. I see that I cannot identify it. So take that sheep's head right back to the kitchen if you please. And bring me bread and butter and cheese. <laughs> the suckling pig is only raw in places. I guess a bite of cabbage wouldn't hurt. Yes, it would. <laughs> they say it's more nutritious if you don't wash off the dirt. At least the next room is safe. How can they wreck dessert? Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> There's something frittered, best not look too closely. And sugared eggplant jiggling in the heat. Ooh. That pie looks just like cherry, but it's really made with beet. My lord, may I have honey butter, and I'll have my something sweet. I'm sure that extra moves not on my diet. I see that I cannot identify it. And if I ever win the crown, we're going for Chinese. <laughs> Until then, just pass the butter. Then the cook's killed moan and butter. But bring me bread and butter and cheese.